Welcome back to La Mulana. This is the second episode of La Mulana. And um, we are back in the Gate of Guidance, just where we left off. And um, I'm going to enter the next area for all of you. Let's do that, shall we? This is the Mausoleum of the Giants. There's also these broken tablets that uh, sometimes have broken text on them, sometimes they don't. I'm going to take a little bit of an unconventional um, route through the Mausoleum of the Giants. Usually supposed to go right. But um, this uh, pathway gives us access to uh, a um, sub-boss. The game has a ton of sub-bosses. Um, you know. And this is basically, um, this is the Ghost Lord from the tablet that we read just now. So... There's nothing really difficult, it just keeps charging at you and you just need to, you know, hit it when it's charging you. Try to hit it from below or from the back once it's past you. It's relatively easy. And this gives us the rolling shuriken, which is another sub-weapon that I'm going to show you now. It just rolls. <laughs> That's the difference. Um, I don't think it's used that much in this game. I think it's used more in La Mulana 2 as a, as a uh, method of solving puzzles. But basically you can um, you can kill ground-based enemies with this. That's what this is. Here we go. Also this pressure plate changes something. Which we will use right now, probably. So yeah, it's it's worth in the beginning to destroy every pot you meet. And also, a lot of these tablets here um, tell the history of the giants. And it's pretty important to solve the mausoleum of the giants. Um, don't read them if you don't intend to... Um, if you tend to play this game yourself, uh, just don't read them. So yeah, this one would have this this um, this would have been a trap if we didn't um, press the pressure plate down below. There's also a guy in here, I think. So yeah, there's all sorts of clues to the puzzles, but some of the puzzles can get really cryptic. But it feels good to progress um, through the game. Here we go. This tablet is the most morbid thing in this entire game. You are forbidden to lay eyes again on this tablet, and or you will suffer the pain of death. That's okay, that's okay, we, uh, we, we did read it, it, it didn't do anything yet. If you read it again, you activate hard mode for this game. This game has a hard mode that you activate by reading this tablet twice. It tells you, do not lay eyes upon this thing ever again. I'm not going to play hard mode. Um, hard mode, I don't really like hard mode for this game. It's basically just different enemy placements and all of the bosses have bloated health and stuff. And it's not really my style. Playing it. So yeah, as you can see, there's another Grail tablet here, which we will immediately read. For most areas, uh, the first goal on your mind should be to get to the Grail tablets, so that you can save. Um, you should save frequently in case there's something wrong with the game. 
Usually the first game doesn't um, the first game doesn't crash at all, at least for me. But the second game sometimes crashes. It's it's weird. It's weird for me. But yeah, as you can see, we can now warp to the Mausoleum of the Giants. Also, let me tell you, behind this ways is a shop, um, which has the boots, which we absolutely will take, because it increases our movement speed. Figure that out. So yeah, um, a lot of the movement speed increases are pretty important in this game, especially, especially for later. And yeah, I fell onto the spikes again. What is it, Elda? Like, you will see that the Elder just keeps spamming you full with messages about the puzzles and stuff, so... This is the Nebra Sky Disk. You can um, make it certain things based on um, which one is at the top. So you have Sun, Moon and Stars. We want to make it Sun for now. And stuff in the mausoleum changes based on the Nebra Sky Disk. There's a reason why I wanted to make it sun first. Also, ha! Huh, you can put a weight there to get more health. So yeah, um, with Sun, this um, this pedestal ac uh, activates. So yeah, that is pretty important. To press this one, I was hoping for a little bit more money. I think I need two hundred coins. I think I need 200 coins, sadly. I think this is what actually activates the arm. arm. You need to um, have sun up. In order to activate the arm. Um, with, the, uh, with the weight. Now we have stars up. Let me... The quickest way to get up from the mausoleum, by the way, is just to warp upwards. It, it immediately places you there. And, you know, with the start up, this uh, pedestal act uh, activates. So, this is something I couldn't have done before with the sun up. Uh, it's only there when the moon, uh, when the stars are up. And something else changes. In the ruins. This giant goes to sleep. <laughs> so we can climb up this ladder. It's actually it's actually uh, visually really really appealing and from a gameplay perspective. So yeah, um, this gives us the Ankh tool for this area. So yeah, a lot of it is based on figuring out which giant is which. You know, which of these giants is uh, which giant in the in the story of the giants that is passed on these tablets. Um, figuring that out is pretty important. Or you could just, you know, change it. You know, you could just change it to sun and brute force it. <laughs> You can do that, but that's not as much fun. So, here with the moon up. There's something else that happens.
this giant starts kneeling with the moon up. And there's the Ankh jewel. Uh, there's the Ankh. This one's holding the Ankh. This guy only starts kneeling when the moon is up. So basically you need to solve this. Um, yeah, and that is the boss for this area. I think I will try the boss, but I'm not confident I can beat it with my current equipment. Um, that's a thing. Use the thing. Okay. Um, also, we are going to enter a new area. There's not much to do in this area, but um, we will just go in there. Which is the end of corridor. But this will also probably give us a ton of money, so that's why I'm doing this right now. But there's also one thing we can get in this area. So yeah, it's basically a corridor, but it's endless. You will see what I mean by that uh, pretty soon. Also, this music in the endless corridor is fucking banger. I'm just going to let you listen to it. So good. I just love this music in the end this corridor. There's also the Grail tablet for this, so we can walk here. There's really nothing else to get here, really. Um, you know, a long endless path. Also, we can meet the Fairy Queen. She asks us to bring her the Isis Pendant when we, whenever we find it, so that's something to keep in mind for later. That's basically the only thing you can do. Also, this is why it's the Endless Corridor. If you go out this way, you arrive at the front again. Um, but also making this loop once unlocks this treasure chest, so might as well take it. I have 200 coins. Which gives us the map, which is not really that useful, but I'm taking it. We are going to explore the uh, endless corridor later. Um, there's a certain item we need to, to be able to explore it. And you'll see what I mean, but um, after that we can explore the endless corridor. Um, let's go back to the mausoleum and actually try fighting the boss. Let's save. The game is going to considerably speed up the longer we go, like, it's not even funny how fast this game can be. Here's the thing. Um, we probably won't be able to beat this boss. This boss is quite a challenge. Let's go with the Young Jewel. Here we go. It's a robot. That was a bad decision. What am I doing? These falling rocks are stupid. Let's also grab some shurikens. I know there's a certain achievement that you can get by um, beating the whole game without using sub-weapons. 
but I'm not going to do that for a playthrough that I post on video. Not really. So yeah, it's a pretty straightforward boss. I'm usually just stay there and wait until he does this punching on the chain and then I jump back. Important that you jump back because um, his recoil actually does damage to you if you stay um, if you stay too close to him. So it's important that you jump over that. There we go. That's phase one done. In phase two, he basically showed you his real face. You also can't get any more close to him. So I'm always using just shurikens to throw him. Usually, that's how it works. I'm not sure if I have enough shurikens to do this. There it is! We did it! So it's a pretty safe strategy. Um, obviously, um, in a runway you can't use sub-weapons. You can't do that strategy. But, yeah, that's it. Second boss down. And the mausoleum of the giant salt. Oh, what do you want? Come back immediately, he said. There we go. Let's talk to the elder. My god, he's annoying. <laughs> Fuck you, elder. Here we go. Let's go back to the Mausoleum of the Giants, because there's something that I wanted to do that I can do now, once, now that I have 200 coins. Um, here we go. There's some areas we haven't explored yet here. Um, so, let's do that first. This is the Twin Labyrinths, which we won't explore until way later, really. This is just now a confusing mess of um, things. Here we go. This is the uh, Little Brother shop. We are basically just going into the Twin Labyrinths for this. Um, let's um, buy. You need to buy... 100 coins worth of stuff from this shop and he basically tells you um, that his brother has a shop in Twin Labyrinths as well as Big Brother which unlocks right up now I think if we go down again it's the other shop yeah and there's uh, an item we can get really early, which is the Dragon Bone, which we will need for later. Which is an item you usually get way, 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 way later. Um, but we can get it pretty early, and um, once we have it, it's ours. It's good. Here we go. We are back in the model, Liam. And there's not much for us to do here. And that's why I'm using my Holy Grail. To go back to the surface. Let's heal up. We don't need to heal up right now. I don't think. Um, let's go back to the Gate of Guidance. Because there was some unexplored areas we didn't go to. So yeah, basically the mausoleum is finished now. Um, we did everything we can in there. But there's two unexplored areas here. 
and I'm going to introduce you to our next main area. Which is down here. You might have noticed I didn't use every door. Right down um, to the right here. Is our next area. What does this tablet say? Okay. Um, yeah. Let's go into here. This is the Temple of the Sun. And the uh, Grail tablet is right over here. And yeah, that is why you need the um, running shoes, because you can actually go up the slope. If you if you don't have the running shoes, you can't go up the slope. It basically immediately drops you down below. There you go. Did something. So yeah, basically we want to drop down here. Um, Into here. And let's break this block. There's a pressure plate that opens this one. And this activates the light. And as you can see, once you activated the light, there are um, invisible platforms. That you can only see when the light is on. That's a pretty neat, I think. That's a pretty neat um, thing. Also, this cart. Just push it off for now. Here we go. This is the sub boss. These are rolling shurikens, why not? Here we go. It's just a small little sub boss. Also, you can break this block up here to go up. Um, you can figure this out pretty easily by looking by either looking at the map or reading one of the tablets. But yeah, um, what you need to do is read this and press this. So we have access to that treasure chest, which is the Isis pendant, which we need. To give to the um, fairies, to the fairy queen. So yeah, as you might notice, um, there's a lot going on right now. Um, we are going to stay in the Temple of the Sun until it's solved, most of it. Most of it. I'm not doing the Temple of the Sun boss um, yet. That one is for later. But um, basically, just walk back. Um, you can go in here, you can grab the map. Basically traps you in here. But just push the statue and you can get out. It's not a complicated puzzle. Um, this card fell below, so let's push it further. Here we go. Cat ball. Oh, I don't have shurikens. Fuck. Can you get me shurikens? Here we go. Some of the enemy types are pretty funny. So yeah, what we want to do here is we want to... Precision throw shurikens through here to break this part on the other side. 
which basically lets us go through here. So yeah, this activates um, this platform, so we can go back and around to get the knife, which is our first um, real weapon. As you can see, um, it's short, but quick. It's different than the whip. So, yeah. I'm going to use the whip for now. It's uh, The knife is good in certain situations. It's not great, but good. Also, the card fell down here, so let's, let's push it further. Why not? So, this is Molbrock. Um, she's pretty important. She gives you a lot of... Um, She gives you, if, if you awaken her, she gives you a lot of hints, the puzzles. But you first need to awaken her, which we can't do yet. Here we go. Let's also go down over here. The card fell to here. This has to be significant, right? Oh no, I pushed it further. This is so goofy. Um, yeah, this card is pretty important. Don't go into here. Also, this puzzle is something interesting. It's, it straight up tells you in one of the tablets. So yeah, you just need to stand under this. Here we go. It basically tells you to do nothing under the eye of Horus. So, yeah. So, this is the Ankh Jewel. This is the Ankh Jewel. And down here is the Ankh. So yeah, we could fight the boss right now, but um, we are going to heal up. Let's go to the surface to heal up first. As you can see, um, this game is pretty engaging once you solve all the puzzles like this. I just, I just do it mindlessly, you know, sometimes. I just go in, I just mindlessly do all of the puzzles and then go out again. So yeah, why not? Why not give the boss a little spin? Why not? What's stopping me, right? Boom. Also, you don't have fall damage. So, don't need to watch out with the ball. Here we go. I think I'm going to end this episode with a little show of the boss. We won't be able to beat it, not at this stage. But yeah, the card was important, obviously. <laughs> Here we go. This is Elmac. So yeah, basically you need to wait until you're up here. So you can actually damage it. It has a little bit more health than I would like at this stage. Nope. Nope. 
that's it. Yeah, um, we are not strong enough to do this yet. Um, it, it puts you right outside of the boss, so you can try again. Um, that wasn't part of the original. The original um, build of this didn't put you outside of the boss. It uh, booted you directly back to the Grail, so you had to walk to the boss. As I said, the, the newer builds make this game a little bit easier and, and better, in my opinion, but yeah. So, that's it for today's episode. Um, thank you all for watching. If you want to see more La Mulana, um, please leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, bye!